Hello everybody, welcome back to all the mods Gravitas 2. Uh okay, let me see. So last episode we finished we have finally have the uh menu sapling, right? And uh, I test this thing out a bit and apparently this one it doesn't ha it basically roll like normal like vanilla menu sapling. It doesn't uh, grow like FC sapling where it takes like six days. It doesn't show anything here. It takes like I think five to ten minutes, depending on. Well, it like it's take, basically take the same time as like vanilla sapling, vanilla mineral sapling. So it's actually quite fast. And I chopped down a bit of it already. And we have like 181 mineral log over here. But uh, the log is not not really what we want. Is this thing and the uh, resin so when you put the manual lock into a centrifuge you will get the crystallized manual chunk right and then the other product is like the manual resin we need this one and the crystallized chunk the lock themselves is like whatever we don't really care about it yeah it's whatever we only care about the chunk the berries the sapling and the resin so that's pretty much what I did in mid today episode. I just uh, plan this thing down and go do some other works because if you look around, you can see we have a roof now. And that is because I want to pretty much like finally building a factory here. A kind of factory slash base. The inside is too small so I have to build a bigger one. And this is like the up top over here, but I also did a bit of underground. So here is like the underground. The wall, I haven't put anything in yet because uh, I plan to kind of expand sometimes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expand or not. But uh, I'm not going to like fill in the wall yet. I'm just going to do the floor and the top like this. So this is like two gap. So this is the plank, but on top here is a slab because let's say when I mine around, like I break a, let's say I break this uh, machine over here. I sometimes kind of misclick and I break this, the floor too. So I have to have like another layer under it. So the item doesn't just fall down and I have to jump down there. So that's pretty much what I did in between episode. I dig the whole area down here out and then fill in a bit at the floor uh, fill in the floor and the roof like this the wait the ceiling yeah the ceiling and also the wall over here I'm probably just gonna leave it like this I'm not gonna fill in the other three walls at all and we'll see if we need more space and I'm gonna expand but um in today's episode I want to first of all like creating another set of this thing so in the quest, in the uh, this one, oh no, this thing, yeah, the blast furnace, you get free storage terminal, right? So I'm, I don't use, I'm not gonna use this. You can, you can use it, but I'm, I'm playing like not questing because the quest is kind of all over the place. It doesn't show you anything, and a lot of the quest is like bringing from the other pack in, so it's not really fit with the progression of this pack, so. I'm not gonna use it. Maybe the this two because you can use, you can make the same. Like basically, we can just make this pretty easy. But this one, I'm probably gonna keep it here and use it later. Maybe make the portable storage terminal. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna make another set of this. And we need the storage terminal, right? So this one, and we need the logic cable, and we need item interface. So let's just grab it first and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with those. First off, okay, let me get a bit of water. Okay, so let's look into it first. So we want one storage terminal. We need manual glass. Okay, manual glass is a drying basin. And here's what I mean by we need the resin. We need the resin to turn the normal gra glass into the manual glass. So we need the basin, right? 
um, black dye, iron, and strip locks. Strip lock or like, wait, what? What? What lock is this? Oh, this is this is uh, is this? Can this be used? Terraform. Okay, yeah, you can. You can use terraformograph. So we need black dye. You can use from coke powder or charcoal powder. Okay. A coal. Okay, actually, it, it doable. Charcoal powder is really easy. You can just let, use charcoal. I'm gonna do that. So charcoal. Let's do two of them and throw it in here. And we need locks, right? Four locks for the surrounding and then two iron. So four locks and two iron in good. Let's go over here, man. Eventually the reason why we want this set because I don't want to just running around like this. It's so like I'm consuming when I have to go like back and forth, back and forth. So this should give us the drying basin, right? Uh, oh, we have to turn it in black dye. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn everything in, and then craft this thing. Wait, I forgot to turn off that. Like, the re the reason why I was like ticking the continuous crafting was because I need to like mass crafting this uh, brick slab and the other one. So I was uh, enabling continuous crafting. So now we have the basin. I think this one is not it's the one that we don't need energy. So where is the um the where is it? Yeah, this one. This is the barrel of mineral sapling. Where's my bucket? I think you only need one. So get one, put it in here. And then you need one piece of glass. Hmm. So we need to so this is gonna be the block. No block mole, okay. And throw this thing in. There we go. One piece of glass, and this should take around ten seconds. Oh, it's just completely turned into it if you just leave it there. Okay, that's funny. You have to put right away, otherwise it's just gonna completely turn into this thing. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know. Okay, here you go. Main real glass, 10 seconds, exactly. And then we need glowstone, which we already have, because nether will give a glowstone. Where is it? I think it's in this barrel over here. Draw yeah. Glowstone. What else? The display panel. Oh my god. So two. So this one. Piston and ver okay. What is this? Vari ver variable card. So nine crystallized chunk and paper. I don't think we have any paper. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any can use in a chemical bath and turn this wood pole into paper. Yeah, chemical bath and paper. So let's just put this let's just do that. Uh where is my chemical bath? There we go. There we go. Should have energy, right? Yeah, very good. Uh, why is it not getting energy? Oh it doesn't have energy. Oh god. Uh can it run just one, just one. Okay. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> Doesn't have energy. I think it's because yeah, this there's like this machine over here that run the basic latte. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it there. We're gonna. Mm, I'm gonna fix it later. So we get the paper right, and then we're gonna do need a bunch of crystallized chunk. I'm gonna get both of them out. This stuff. Okay, and then... The... What is it? This thing, the variable card. Uh, what 
the other one. So we need two main real trunk and the piston. Um, I guess the iron recipe is the easiest one. Redstone, iron, and plank. So plank. Um, this one, copper stone, and iron, and redstone. Okay, there we go. So that should be the piston. One piston, and then this thing. So four output variable transformer. And from there, we need the two static light panel, which is just like this. Two static light panel. And that should be the inside, yeah, the display panel. Well, so we need more of this thing. So we need more cobblestone. I'm gonna let it take a stack it out. Okay. It seems like this stuff from integrated dynamic use a lot of piston. So we have exactly everything except more. Oh, it used sticky piston, really? Okay, so it used sticky piston. Um, okay, so piston again. And then sticky piston. There we go. Uh -huh. Wait, how? Oh, glue block. Okay. That's unexpected. Do we have any glue? Um, we don't have any glue around here. Yep, no glue. Oh, there we go. So two of these. And a sticky piston. That should be this thing. The input variable. That should be the storage terminal. So that is the main thing done. I want to get more logic cable. Like, logic cable is like the most, the one we want the most item interface I can get one set and that's done we don't really need a lot of them because uh, this thing is just like how can I say it's like it's just to connect to an inventory but with things like draw a uh, storage control storage drawer you can just connect to this one and it will read everything so you only need one uh, item interface but the cable is where the, a lot of these things go. So we need a lot of stick. There we go. A bunch of stick and then a bunch of this thing. Um, How many do we want? 31, 32. I'm going to do 40. Okay. That should be everything we need. Let me throw a bunch of this stuff away. I'm just going to throw randomly because soon I'm going to show you guys what I mean when I use the, when I uh, like want to use this thing, like the uh, storage terminal. Uh, the rest just throw in here. So, so as, as I said before, this storage terminal is basically like a mini version of uh, AE2. So what you're going to do is that you need an item interface to read into an inventory meaning you just connect it to anywhere of the inventory so let's just say let's just use a normal, normal chest let's use a normal chest then so this is an inventory right you just connect it to anywhere of the inventory and then you connect it using a logic cable so it will be able to connect to a uh, item what is it oh my god it doesn't the storage terminal it doesn't show the uh, uh, JI so now when you click on it you can see you have access to the inventory but without the I think without this thing yeah it doesn't even connect you can't read anything in here it still doesn't connect so you need this um, item interface to read an inventory oh so yeah that's pretty much the like the basic of it so apply that to a bigger one, like this thing. Now let's see if you can connect this without it. Okay, you cannot. So you still need a logic cable and connect to a storage terminal. So apply that to that. You can see now I have access to everything. <laughs> Basically everything in here. Like 1,700 
uh, Glauconite Sand. So that's another one that we're going to use in this episode. That we're going to connect this inventory. So what I want is that I'm going to bring everything, the whole setup of a uh, storage drawer down there. And we're going to route the cable up here. So we are not going to see all of this in up here, but we can access it using the storage terminal up here. So that's one thing. The other thing is that I want to make, uh, what is it? Item vault, the yeah, item vaults from create. So this one is more like a chest or a this thing, but it can store like 100,000 something items. So let's let's make it right, shall we? So it needs either a chestnut barrel or a barrel. I don't think yeah, we cannot make the barrel, so we're just gonna use the FC barrel. Do we have any empty barrel over here? No. Uh, I think there's one out there. Okay, here we go. I'm just, I'm just gonna click one over here. I think there's a bug, I believe there's a bug where you can, like, it doesn't consume the barrel, it still, it still consumes the iron, but it doesn't consume the barrel. So let's see, let's cl clear out the other recipe first. So you can use iron plate or rot iron plate. Hmm, Sh what should I use? Iron plate or rot iron plate? Um, actually, I'm not gonna, I, I don't know. I'm gonna use rod iron. Uh, actually, I'm gonna use iron. Rod iron is a bit harder to, like, craft. So, let's see. We actually only need this amount. We only need 18. We don't need 20 because the um, item vault is a multi-block. And if you look over here, it can go up to nine, nine times. Like, where is it? Like here, like three by three. So, being nine is better than ten, since you can will you will have like one left over, right? So let's just wait a bit for this thing to run, and then I will go down there. Go down to the basement and put the item bolt down. Alright, so we have like 9 of these, 18 of these. I believe, yeah, the recipe is bugged out and you don't consume the barrel for some reason. That's actually, <laughs> that's actually funny. Because like, the barrel, like the barrel is like the cheaper one, but you don't consume the cheaper one. You consume the more expensive one. So, okay, let me see. Where do I want to put this? I can just put it randomly everywhere, anywhere I want. Because like, we, we're going to need a lot of this as well. So this is not like the only amount we need. I'm going to make a huge setup over here. But for now, we don't have enough iron. So I'm going to just use like this. There we go. So this one, it's pretty much the whole air uh the whole storage so now i can just connect it here logic cable and item interface and now it has eleven thousand item in here um i'm probably gonna do this let's go up first okay let me see where do i want to put the storage terminal over here right maybe over here in the middle over like this. So this block over here. I can just pick it down. Connect the thing up here. Uh, one more block. This thing over here. There we go. Uh, I think there's cover, right? Cover. Or like facade. Yeah, I think there's a facade. Interface, interface. Yeah, there's a facade. So 
I guess this this means that you can use this to like cover this thing up and it's not gonna look ugly but for now I'm just gonna let it be like that so let's go down here and we can connect this thing to our oh wow it's kind of far away did not expect that um it's fine though it's fine though just gonna go down here we can put it here this one and connect this one there we go wait what what does that mean oh okay i see now i can pretty much just throw everything inside the item vault i probably need to make more um this uh, item vault because i don't think eleven thousand is gonna be enough let's see let's just throw everything in right so throw everything in there we go and you can take items out easily and yeah that's pretty much the <laughs> like what is it called the um simple ae2 kind of like store like digital storage from integrated dynamic we're gonna use this for quite a while until we can get into in apply energistic which I haven't looked into it yet, but I think it's a bit um, a bit more complicated than this one since it's using silicon, right? It's using I don't really know. You see, it needs more than just a symbol like this, yeah. A fluid crystal. I don't even know how you get that. How do you get this? Let's look into it first. Okay, so we need nether quartz and nether quartz and charge nether quartz circuit quartz charge where did you get this thing the circuit quartz uh, okay nether circuit quartz draw circuit quartz oh, so i guess it's in the nether yeah it's in the nether i see so you have to go to nether and mine all this stuff up Okay, I'm just gonna let I'm still gonna use this first and eventually we will switch out. But for now let's just do this. So I'm just gonna put everything in the system and then I'll be back when we are done. Alright, so I think that's pretty much every oh this one as well. I was making the uh, blue steel sword, but then, well, the black steel is still here, and I haven't. It is not even close to breaking yet, so I'm just gonna throw this in as well. So I think this is pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, everything. I also connect the table to this draw controller, so now we have access to everything over here too. And this is pretty much like everything we have. Although if you look down here, it said that it's 75,380 over 2 billion. So this billion over here is actually kind of a bug. It's like a bug because, well, this number over here is like the max integers. So it's actually not showing the exact amount in here. It's just showing that, well, because this um, inventory doesn't have, like, what is it called? Uh, the max number of slot, I guess. So it doesn't know what to do. So it's just going to show this uh, number. I think that's what happened. So now we can just put items out and took, put item in. Easily. Well, what the? I heard something. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much the storage system I'm gonna expand it more because right now we only have like one like this amount this is like 3 by 3 by 3 so 27 I have to expand it to like two more row because uh, the how is the item vault work is that it's pretty much just like a normal chest with a much bigger inventory I guess much bigger slots so because it's a normal chest, it still functions like each slot like this. So it only has a 
fixed number of slot you can put item in fixed number of slot for unique item and each slot that item can have i think 64 or something amount of them so if i have only three by three like the nine block previously i cannot put more than like i think 300 items in because well it only has like a fixed number of slot right so that's why i have to increase it but uh yeah now it's working normally i want to also bring like everything from the tree farm over here like all these logs and sapling to over here as well probably bring the tree farm somewhere down here like this way so we have access to the locks as well and for this uh draw controller i will i will also bring everything down there even the dust though not this thing though not the ore all this ore and basically all of this unprocessed thing i'm gonna keep it up here and i'm gonna process them everything like by one by one like basically everything and all the output is just gonna go into the system so it's gonna be more compact and more cleaner looking like, because like look at this we don't really don't really have any use for this rather than you have to process them so there's no point in putting them in the system right so that's i think pretty much it uh let me see this one is like the ore from terraformer craft that we haven't processed yet i'm probably gonna do this well same thing here like we don't have enough space I, I need to craft more upgrade storage upgrade but it's kind of expensive for now seeing i haven't run any like iron and steel at all so probably do that in between as well as well and is there anything else uh, I don't think there's anything. I will also probably finish building the house. I don't know what is going to be the design yet, but at least we have a roof now. So I'm, I don't like just facing straight up to the sun. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this episode, I think. Um, there's not really anything I can do right now other than just organizing and basically some more grinding and i think in the next one we will probably start setting up um like automation line like automation for processing or automation for processing some stuff that we need a lot of so yeah i think this is it for today's episode thank you for watching uh bye